Hello, hello, my lovely lot. Right, I have already started this whip, this bit here, because I thought I was filming, but I was being a bit scatty and I wasn't. So, let's get started on the real thing. We'll try again. Whip along Sunday, take two. Right, what I'm using, I'm using Admiral Zest Pen. It's got a single placer and a three placer because yes, I'm trying to multi-place. Lots of blocking. I've also got my gorgeous yellow pen from Gina, which has got my straightener on the end. Um, I have got, I don't know if you can see, you can't, my pencil holder to the side. I'm using the big cook tray and the mini one because under here there is some confetti and yes I am trying to multiply so you can all have a good giggle today Sam be proud so I thought I'd try and get some of these comments done hence I am working on the nine lives because I have like two three weeks worth um so <laughs> oh maybe two weeks worth what they're huge they're let so go of it oh, well. <coughs> um uh the lovely Shaz pencil surprises has just said on the Whip Along Sunday, which was over two weeks. I'm actually filming this and it's Wednesday. This will go up on Sunday because I'm trying to get back into the old routine after being ill and lots of things going on. Um, she says, glad you're on the mend. I'm sorry I'm so behind on videos. No worries, my darling. You watch them when you can. No, there's no rush. They're not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, we're we're definitely on the mend. Um, I am videoing this on the Tuesday, on the Wednesday even, like I said, simply because I'm going to see my babies on friday i'm gonna spend the weekend with the kids and the grandkids so i'm trying to do it because i have said to myself that this week i'm gonna try and get back to doing more videos how i used to do them um it may be a long whip because i'm having to straighten all these up and I will go over it. Once I've finished the section, I will go over it with my straightener anyway. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Shaz. Don't worry, I'm behind on videos as well. I don't know what's going on with these videos. These, oh, that's why I was going up the wrong way there. She also, um, Shaz also commented on my uh, kitten up with the rainbow roses, which is now finished. Um, great video as always. Thank you, Shaz. It always means a lot when other YouTubers comment, you know. Um, let me just place a few more drills. Then we have got, on the whip along, nine lives, two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. She said, very great video, Penny. I'm going to get my son to have a look at getting me pattern keeper. I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully he can do it for me. Have a lovely evening. I hope you sorted it, Sharon. Um, I actually had a bit of an adventure with pattern keeper. To, well, with the whole tablet situation. Um, I've managed to get another tablet. And I've got a Samsung. Um, and my greatest fear was downloaded is 
that I would download Pattern Keeper. Number one, have to pay for it again, which I would have done if I had to, but I didn't. It all zinked. Zinked? That's the word. Um, yeah, it all zinked together. And then I was really worried that I, because I opened it on the Samsung and there was no patterns there. And I'm thinking, no. Um, but I actually managed to get the, um, to transfer them from the Amazon Fire 7 to the Samsung. And it's got all the... <laughs> Like, it's got how much I've done and all sorts. So, I was extremely happy with that. Now, I'm trying to be clever and place one drill with the multi-placer. Getting ahead of myself here. Um, but it was a nightmare on the Amazon Fire Tablet. I really hope you managed to sort it, Sharon. Um... My 14-year-old daughter did mine for me because I couldn't work it out how to do it. And it was a case where you had to download, like, four different files and do this, but you had to do them in the right order. Um, so I am really hoping that you managed to do it. I think I just did one in the wrong place up there, but do you know what? It is what it is at this point. I'm trying to multi-place, and I think I'm doing not too badly. But thanks for commenting, commenting, Sharon. The lovely, cheeky Sharon. Hope you are well, my darling. Right, next video. Claire Clouds, she says, Thanks for the shout-out. Looking forward to watching your progress in PK November. Do you know what? This is why I like to order. I, I do like to um to read the comments. I have, whilst I've been sort of not doing these kind of wits, I have been. If somebody needs an answer, or I look at a, read a comment and I think, yep, yeah, that can't wait until I next do. A whip along with comments because as you all know I'm not clever enough to be able to concentrate on heaven and earth and answer questions as well um, like Rebecca at Admiral Zesh she does it I take my hat off to you Rebecca I really can't do it I've tried, ended up in a complete mess, so I didn't even put the video up because it was crazy. In fact, I didn't even do the whole video. I think I did about 10 minutes and then I just got wound up by it. And I think that you guys deserve my attention when I'm doing it, although I am diamond painting now. I think that you deserve a bit more than me rambling on and when I answer questions and your reply to your comments, I want to give you a bit more than stop, start, stop, start, lose my trailer fault, which is what I do with heaven and earth, I'm afraid. But yeah, so... You're more than welcome, Claire, Claire Close, I think you pronounce that. Right, the gorgeous Diamond Painting Madness, our Lord, Lona. We do love our Lona. She has got a channel, Diamond Painting Madness, it's called. Love watching Lona. Don't always manage to watch them on time. I just did all that and I don't need all of them. Let's go to the single placer for these odd bits. Um, I will tag her. And please, if you haven't already subscribed to her, she is 
she's such a lovely lady. I do really enjoy watching her videos. Oh, I've done it again. The glue is really slippery. I don't know whether it's because I've got no lights. And I'm wondering if they're just giving out too much heat. But she says, thank you for mentioning me, Penny, and your kind words. But you know what? I, saw, I sent my start picture and now too late to Sam. My head was squished yesterday after the weekend trip and just forgot. But as I said to Sam, I will work on it by your side. No matter in or out. Hugs and love. Lone. Dying painting madness. Well... Thankfully, Sam was still ex still accepting entries, so Lone did go in there. And Lone, if you're watching, you're doing amazing, literally doing amazing, considering at the beginning you had problems with the canvas and the drills, but you persevered. And it does look amazing. It really does look amazing. Um, I'm loving the picture. I'm loving the image. Um, so, yeah, keep going, girl. And at the moment, from the last video that Sam did with the updates, you're ahead on percentage. Me and you are looking like winners, girl. Apparently, I'm ahead with drill count and you're ahead on the percentage so we could be winning twinning so carry on doing what you're doing line you're doing bloody amazing oh the unboxing the happy mail this was the 120 box that was a birthday gift from the gorgeous gina um and it was a 120 bottle storage case, which I haven't used as yet. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for one of my heaven and earths. That is, that has 90, uh, 120 colours it has. So it would be perfect. But it, Julie says, I love the 120. It's so useful for two small one, extremely large ones. Well, Julie, let's be honest. Anybody that watches me knows that I'm a glutton for punishment and I always go for these bloody big kits. Humongous kits. So, yeah, it's ideal for me. I am looking forward to using it. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get me heaven and earth done. Um, and also this one, because it feels like I've been doing this nine lives for years. And do you know what? I've been con Obviously, it's PK November, so that's what I'm concentrating on at the moment. Do you know what? I don't think that's bad for multi-placing, considering... I'm not a multi-placer. I can see a bloody hair on my pen and it's really doing my head in. I keep seeing it. Um, there it is. So, yeah, it will be used, Julie. It will be used. But thank you for commenting, Julie. I'm so sorry, it's take everybody, that it's taken me this long. Then we got the lovely Betsy. We do like we do love our Betsy all the way from she's in the states, I believe. She says hello. I just want you to know that I watch every video, but seldom comment. I can't wait until you get to two hundred and fifty subscribers. Love you. Oh, sending lots of love back straight back at you, Betsy. Wow. Can you believe the count for today? is 185 subscribers i'm so chuffed like to me i've got to be honest i'm when i first started this channel it wasn't about getting subscribers it was about 
making some friends, you know, some people that are into the same things as me. The fact that my kids are sick, and he sick of hearing about pot diamond painting from me. Um, but yeah, that was the aim, was to just make some friends. Would never have believed that I would have this many subscribers. I never thought I'd get to 20, let alone 185. So yeah, let's wait and see when, if, not when, but if I get to the 250. <laughs> because um, it may not happen and that's fine. If it doesn't happen, that I'm completely okay with that. Um, I hope that the people that watch me now, um, I think everybody knows there's a little bit of, I'm a little bit mad. I think everybody knows that. But yeah, but thank you, Betsy. Sending you lots of love, my darling. I did email you, Betsy, yesterday, I believe. Then we've got Only Merrin. She just said, oh, lots of love hearts. That was on my Heaven and Earth whip. And then we've got Sharon Wildball. Great video, Penny. I think every time you do a section, you should video, video it. And then she's put the laughing face. Sending you and Annalise some love. I'll send you lots of love back, Sharon. Um, no. There's your answer to that. No, I'm not videoing every bit of it. Um, now, if I give you a bit of background, <coughs> I nearly guess because I'll try to laugh. Give you a bit of background about Sharon, shall I? Sharon wants everybody to do 24 hour videos. Not happening, Sharon. Um, I am going to get back to doing more, Sharon, I promise. Sharon is absolutely lovely. She always supports, you know. Now, there are lots of people that support just by watching. That's all you need to do. Just watch. Give us a little thumbs up if you, if you enjoy. If you don't enjoy, that's fine. Move over to somebody that you are going to join because there's lots and lots of different YouTubers out there that offer different things. I swear I can hear Anna. Can you not hear Annalise TV? Annalise? Yes, Annalise, I called you. Can you turn your TV down a bit, please? Yeah. Because the sub my subscribers <laughs> tune in <laughs> to listen to me, not to whatever you're watching. They're doing a food challenge. I don't care what they're doing. Turn it down, please. I'm going to, I'm going to shut this down. Okay. Bye. Bye. Does any of them, I don't know why I picked that up. Does anybody want a 14 year old hormonal girl? She's going for free. But once you take her, you can't bring her back. Anyway, as I was saying, Sharon is a lovely, lovely lady, has supported me immensely. Like, literally. Um, she. She's just great. We have such a giggle. Um, Sharon, I missed you on the live. On Sam's live. Where were you? You need to come. You need to come on the lives. Oh, look, I've done it again, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. See, this is no good with me in Multiplacer. But it's just, there's so much blocking. It takes forever with single place in now there we go let's just put these in with a single place on so yeah sharon next tuesday 
Eight o'clock. Live over on Kitten Up Kitten. Come over. Have a giggle. Because she does. She's such a giggle. We have such a laugh. But come over, Sharon. We, we missed you. But thanks for commenting, Sharon. Then we've got Unboxing Farzaz, the lovely Gina, with her gorgeous, she always leaves me emojis, which are really nice, of flowers, roses, I believe, love hearts, a kangaroo, and there's the little Oscar the koala. That's what we've named him. But thank you, Gina. Then we've got Betsy. Um... Hi, sweet. Didn't know we were both November birthday girls. I knew there was some reason I liked you. You should sound like a busy lady this week. Better rest up. Love you. Lots of love back, Betsy. Um, it, I have had a really busy couple of weeks. I've had some amazing orders for the index cards and the drill booklets. Um... I said to my daughter today, I said, I'm an international entrepreneur now. <laughs> because I think in the last week I've sent to Canada. Um, I have sent to Belgium. America. And the UK. So I do feel like I'm a bit of a international person i'm not really but you know if it makes me feel good we'll we'll roll with that but thank you betsy and i do, i am trying to rest up darling i'm not i am no longer um i'm not burning the candle at both ends or trying not to i have had manic just trying to get because like, as much as the like People that have ordered the cards have said to me, no rush, don't kill yourself doing it. I always want to get them out and to you, like, as soon as I can, because I know when I order something, I don't want to wait for it. I want it now. So I just think the quicker I can get it done, the better it is. And also, it just means it's something ticked off my list. So, everything has been up to date. I've got one order that only came in yesterday. Um, that's outstanding. On Etsy. So, yeah. I've not got a problem with it at all. But, I have... I am taking this weekend, um, as you all know, over my birthday weekend, um, we were supposed to go down to London and see the family, but my lovely Anna Lee wasn't too good, in fact she wasn't good at all, she was in a bit of a bad way, so we're going down this weekend, and I am going Friday, I'll be back Monday, early Monday morning, well not early Monday morning but reasonable time Monday morning. So I'm hoping that I can get back to some normality now. You know, some normality of I was in quite a good routine with videos and stuff. So thanks Betsy. Oh, and here's, the, here's our lovely Sharon Wildball. Great video you do. Make me laugh talking about whips and big things. Hope Anne feels better soon. Sending you both some love. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, about whips and, my, and big things, Sharon. I have no clue. And then the Sam, who's terrible at encouraging people has answered Sharon and said, when Penny said, I don't know if she likes whips, absolutely cracked me up. I don't think I said that. I deny everything. See, them two get together and they pick on me, guys. It's 
not fair, is it? Sweet little innocent me, don't do anything. And they're ganging up on me. No, not really. We love you, Sharon. We do. We love you, Sharon. We do. Then we've got Sam, Kit Not Kim. Thank you for yet another fab video and promotion of PK November. Loving getting my whip done and watching yours grow too. It's amazing, isn't it, Sharon? Sharon, Sam, it's um, it's surprising that doing a small section every day, how much we all, not just me, but everybody that is taking part, it's amazing how much we're all getting done. Now, Sam is running the event and she does an update every Monday, an update video. And we're all sending, our in, sending in pictures of what ours looks like now and how much percentage and so forth. And you know what? I so look forward to seeing that video because... You bother getting there. Because as much as... Right? You lot don't know me. I don't know everybody else. But it feels like we know each other. You know, it feels like we're all sitting there and working together on our projects. And to see, it all, it also gives you the opportunity to see what everybody else is doing. It might be that it's something you want to do. What it has done is um, it's made me want to do a Josephine wall. That's what it's done. The problem is, guys, is that I keep doing big ones. Um, as Sharon says, I do like big thing, doing big ones. But seriously, it means you lot are never going to get any kitten downs because they take forever to do. But I'm the same with all my canvases. They're all biggish ones. Um, I do try and get smaller ones. Can dig myself another hole in it. Sharon will be on there saying about big things. Um, I just, there's none that really pop at me, you know. I have done some smaller ones. I have got, oh geez, I have got, I've now bought some canvases if you've watched my unboxings from Fan Sales. Um, and they are smaller ones. But I just, I love things that have got loads of detail. Like the one that's coming out on Saturday. Can I be good, guys? What do you reckon? What do you reckon the chances of me being good is? And it all depends, number one, on how much they're going to charge for it. Number two, how much it, like, whether they're going to do... A Black Friday thing like they did last week, where new, the new releases are twenty percent off. Be really good if they do. If they do, then I'm getting it. I shouldn't, because I've only just I haven't even got my order from them that I did last week yet. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And I, there's only ever been one painting that they've released that I've wanted immediately. Where, and that was still waiting. And okay, I may not be have done it yet, but you know what? I've got it. It's there. Um, if this one, the nine lives, hadn't have been me stopped. I would have more than likely been doing that one. Because I do love it. I do love it, guys. But Sam, you're more than welcome. PK November is an amazing. Right, we've then got Sabine. Hi, Penny. I ordered the dividers from your Etsy store. I'm going to be very excited when they come. Thanks. Very tired when they come, but she does... 
answer again. Thanks for your beautiful videos on YouTube. I also like to watch and listen to Kitten Up Kitten. Greetings, Sabine. But she also says later on, which I'll find somewhere, but she does say she meant excited, not. But Sabine, I'm hoping that if you haven't got them yet, they should be with you any day now. Because yours was the very first sail on Etsy that I had. So I'm hoping that you have received them and that you are happy with them. Because although everybody loves them and I've had no complaints, I do worry that people might not like them when they actually get them. And that's just an anxiety thing that I suffer with. So it's not that anybody has made me feel like that. It is literally the whole anxiety for me. Until somebody receives them. Um, I like to know. I'm, I'm sort of worried that they're not going to like them once they see them sort of in their hands, so to speak. But thank you for colouring. Then Lisa, Lisa at Lisa's Colouring Corner says, for your information, there's a cross-stitch graph paper. Is there now, Lisa? I'll have to look into that. The thing is, is will it be the right size? if that makes sense. Um, and I think she commented on my, seriously, dropping drills like they're going out of fashion here. Um, as I'm doing my, my heaven and earth on graph paper. Um, but are they the right size squares? Because if they are, then that's good. But then saying that, I've um, I've not had any problem with my the graph paper I'm using, and I bought a pad of it of fifty sheets, I believe. I think it says a hundred pages, but you know what I mean. It's like it's double sided. I'm not going to use the other side. Let's be honest. Um, so it works out fifty, and I think it was like four pound thirteen. Ridiculous. So. And they're perfect size, they're perfect, um, the squares are all 2.5 mil, which is exactly what we need for squares. But I will definitely look into that, Lisa. Is it just called cross-stitch graph paper? Is that what it's called? Is it just so that you can, like, design your pattern or, or stuff? You'll have to let me know. And I will look into it because the I, I was a bit concerned, but my cats seem to be coming out lovely. But thanks, Lisa. And then we've also got on the kitten up of the sunflowers, we've got Gina with my roses and love and kangaroo and everything else. My gorgeous Oscar. Oh, I missed one there. So, yeah. This must be really exciting for you guys. Just watch me do the same colour. Are you all laughing at me struggling with a multi-placer? Because the thing is, guys, I hate blocking. I literally don't like doing blocking. But sometimes... If you really, really like the image, it's got to be done. And I love this image. I never saw it. I don't think I was aware of Diamond Art Club when this image first came out. But what I did is I saw an unboxing of it. I think it was Diamond and Washi. But I saw an unboxing of it and that was it. It had to, and I searched everywhere. I even looked and asked on the D-Stash groups for it because I absolutely fell in love 
and this painting then became my unicorn. And then they restocked it. I did on Diamond Art Club. If you're not aware, if they're as long as they're not limited editions or final editions, you can sign up to be notified when it comes back in stock. Well, it came back in stock and I, you didn't have to tell me twice. The thing is, it sold out as quick as it came back in stock. So I was so pleased that I got it. Um, and I would, I would have gone and robbed a bank to pay for it. I did pay for it in free because at that point I never had enough money to buy it. But I was not letting, I was not. And what was really funny is the day that they restocked this, I um, had been to Sam's and we'd been sitting there saying, we're on an O-buy. Both of us was on an O-buy. And I'd said, the only way I will break my no-buy is if one of my unicorns came in. Now, I had two unicorns. I had this one, the Nine Lives, and I also had Afghan Cat. Like, seriously, guys, I would... Oh, my God, if I got Afghan Cat. Now, Afghan Cat is many people's lots of people's unicorn um it's just so sad that it was a limited edition it is never going to be restocked it just makes me so sad and the people that do have it i've actually seen it on um ebay but guys seriously it was like 270 pounds now I love it, and if I won the, if I was a millionaire, I could have afforded it, but I'm not. So obviously I couldn't get it. But yeah, Afghan cat. So if anybody knows it, if it, if any of you out there have got it, I will swap you a fourteen year old teenager for Afghan cat. And I'll tell you what, she's quite good at washing up. She makes a nice spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> I've completely veered off subject, haven't I? It won't be the first time. But yeah, anybody's got it. Please get and and you and you want to distash it because I get it's an amazing and obviously if I had it I wouldn't distash it, but I am more than happy to swap my daughter for Afghan cat. In fact, you can have my daughter and you can also have, you can have my cat as well. You can have Mr. Montague as well. That is how much. Thank gosh, that's colours over. You can have both of them anyway getting back thank you gina for my emojis much much appreciated then we've got oh 11 days ago right what i did is i did a um i was doing what was i doing kitten up sunflowers and i said pee please bob now children of my daughter's generation as in Annalie, 14 years old, didn't get what I was meaning. So I said, I said to everybody, it wasn't a prize or anything, but let me know if you know what that's from. <coughs> we can do the little tray now. And Denise Williams, Blockbusters. Well done, Denise. And Sarah Morris, Blockbusters. I knew you guys, some, somebody out there would know. So, I knew somebody would know. So, yeah, it was Blockbusters. Give me a please, please, Bob. 
We, as a kid, I thought that was hilarious. I literally thought it was hilarious. Right, we're going to do this bit of confetti now. Because then I can just feel this dot in. It would be helpful if I actually picked up a drill, wouldn't it? It would be really helpful. But yeah, it was blockbusters, guys. I knew you lot. And he was like, what are you talking about, Mum? You just don't get it. They don't make programmes like they used to make. I now really sound old. But yeah. See her face is coming alive there. But you both got it right. Then we've got Shelly Pixie on my Happy Mail unboxing. And I believe that was... The lovely Betsy sent me a couple of canvases, a couple of kits, um, diamond art kits, which was so very, very generous of her. They, I believe they were in her stash. Um, and she asked me if I wanted them because she's not going to get a chance to do them. Um, a very generous gift. Um, just like all the people that have sent me some amazing, amazing gifts, I appreciate every single one of them, and I really, really do. Um, I know that this last week I have treated myself, but it's my birthday so and it, i think it's more also the case of especially with the family every year they're like what do we get you what do we get you because the thing is i'm not a difficult person right as in there's nothing that i really want like i don't anchor over things like i don't i'm not bothered about branded things i'm not bothered about Anything like that. I'm quite happy. I lead quite a simple life. And I'm quite... I'm going to do those free ends because they're bugging me. Um, I live a simple life. I don't want big snazzy TVs and stuff like that. I'm quite happy with my like 20-year-old TV and, and so forth. So people say to me, they do say to me, my, especially the family say, right, we'll get you this for your birthday. And I'm like, no, don't spend your money, blah, blah, blah. So they've got to the point where they don't ask me because they just get annoyed that I don't have any particular thing that I want. Um, so, obviously this year they got Diamond Art Club vouchers, which, let's be honest, you can't go wrong with a Diamond Art Club voucher. And I think it's just because they hear me talking about it all the time. Um, and, and money. Because then I can choose what I want. Because, like I said, they didn't want to buy. What, what they said to me is they wanted to get me diamond paintings. But they don't know what I want and they don't know anything about diamond painting to know what to get sort of thing. So their thing was, if we get her a voucher and give her money, she can get what she wants. So, yes, I have bought a few things. Um, I will be on a no-buy for the next, till my next birthday, most probably. Um... But the lovely Betsy sent me two and Shelly Pixie just said, oh my God, I'd love that, but can never afford it, Diamond Art Club. You're so lucky. And you're right, I am lucky. I've got to say, I feel, especially this last week, the whole of my birthday week, I feel extremely lucky. I, I, I don't take things for granted. You know, like, just not even gifts. But the whole, everybody wishing me happy birthday, sending me good wishes, you know, that meant so much to me. 
and because that's what I'm like. It's not about. I always say to the kids, like, "What do you want? Just get me a nice card." You know, don't be spending your money on me. I don't need, and I literally don't need anything. I haven't got a huge stash, so I'm, I'm, there's nothing to boast out there. I reckon I've got about maybe 20, 25 paintings in my stash, um, which is a lot to some people. I do appreciate that. But I tell you what, you look at some of these... Um, you look at some people and they've got like two massive cupboards full of st full of diamond art clubs and not just diamond art clubs but like all the different things and I'm like wow can you adopt me <laughs> you know um I don't feel that my stash is humongous to some people it may be big I have never ever paid full price for a diamond art club there are always vouchers a good few of my diamond art clubs in fact more than half of my diamond art clubs that i have are from d stash sites so shelly pixie i don't know where you're from but look on local um look up d stash d stash sites for wherever you are over here in the UK, we've got a few UK uh, Diamond Art Club, D Stash Group UK. We've got um, licensed paintings for sale UK. So there's a few, and most of mine are from there. Um, the unboxing I did the other day was um, from Carol. That's for a D Stash site. So look on there, see if you can, oh, and look, like I don't, like I said, I don't know where you're based, what country you're, you're in, but it's like, you can get them. It was, it is, it's an experience doing a Diamond Art Club. It really is. The only thing is, is it makes you not want to do any budget ones, but... I am going to be doing some budget ones. I'm going to persevere with it. But yeah, have a look on your on Facebook, your local selling sites. Even look on things like Google and eBay and stuff because you can get some bargains. Oh, and that on the unboxing fan sale, Sue O'Blenis, it is Sarah Jessica Parker in Hocus Pocus. So I couldn't remember the name of her. Yeah, you're right. I used to love her in Sex in the City. I used to love watching Sex in the City. Um, and that was in the unboxing from fan sales. I got a free gift, which was a diamond painting. And it was of her. So, yeah. But thank you, because I could not remember her life, her name to save my life. Um, where's the next one? Yes, I'm in. Um, the next comment is on the unboxing the Happy Mail, the, the stuff from Betsy, and she's um, just put, so glad you like them. They are just too big and too square for me. I bought them when I was much more ambitious. So sorry, I forgot the toolkit for Sneaky Love You. Lots of love, Betsy, coming right back at you. Um, I get it. Um, you seriously, bet I am so overwhelmed with your generosity. Um, they are two amazing kits, absolutely stunning. Um, I have already got, I do already have Sneaky Cat, as I did inform. I did inform her that before she sent it. I'm not one of these greedy people that says, No, give it to me. Um, and I am going to make sure that somebody, it gets passed on to somebody that will appreciate it. Um, not yet decided how I'm going to do that because I want to do it properly. I don't want to just give it to anybody. Um, but that will be sorted out. 
hopefully in the not too near future. Um, but yeah, Betsy, thank you so much. You know that the grandiose Greece I am absolutely in love with. Absolutely love it. In fact, I've got some new storage coming and one of them storages is exactly for that because I'm going to put it up. Because sick. if I give it up... What? Oh, it's looking amazing. Thank you. If I um, kit it up, I'm going to be there. To, I will get it done. I will get it done. So thank you, Betsy. Sending you lots of love, my darling. Um, kitting up sunflowers, fairy dust. Right, fair dust, sorry. What I do with the sticker mag is I cut my legend in half if it's a big legend and do it separate. Sometimes people do it side by side, but that's a little tough to do. Totally agree. That was because I struggled with getting it to go in straight. I just kind of do it. Um, but that's, I didn't think of that. So I will, next time I use the, and she's talking about the Zyron sticker maker. Um, next time I'm doing a legend, I'm definitely going to try that because I think that would be much easier than me struggling and just do it in two separate parts. Do you know what? I never thought of that. Never thought of doing it that way at all. But I will do. And I can see that I've missed the Y. So let's get a Y out. Huh? You can see that. Up there. Oh. So, yeah. Y M C A. Do, 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 do. This kid's as nuts as me. So you hear that? You can have good singing. She can wash up. And she can... She cooks a mean spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Thanks. If you have Afghan cat in your stash that you want to get rid of, fair swap, I'll say. I reckon that's a good swap. Mm, no. Right, next. I get to bring the cat. Unboxing the early birthday prezzy. That was... No, you can take the cat as well. Good. Um, If they've got Afghan cat. I want the cat. You can have the cat. Good. But you've got to live with whoever wants you. Mm. All right, sorted. No dogs. See that you don't want dogs, guys. Um, right, back on to what we were talking about. Right, pencil surprises. Well, now that storage, my friend, isn't it, Shaz? Seriously, Shaz, that was on the two hundred and forty mm. bottle case. Um, it's bloody amazing, Shaz. Seriously, I literally. I fell in love with it. I really liked it when I saw, obviously first saw it. And then when I actually unboxed oh. it. Could you make me a coffee, please, Emily? I could. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Um, <coughs> when I actually <coughs> unboxed it, I absolutely love it. And it was specifically for... Doing my heaven and earth because my heaven and earth is two hundred and thirty nine colours, and you know what? It has made doing it so much easier to the degree that where I'm going down to London and I may have an evening or two where I'm not doing anything. Daytime's mega busy, but during the evening I won't be doing much. I'm really, really tempted to take the heaven and earth. Now, if I didn't, if it was lots of cases, like before, and I had it in nine different store, nine of the little 28 containers, where you've got the four joined together, if it was in that, wouldn't even think about it. So I am loving it, Shaz. Absolutely loving it. So... Thank you for commenting, Shaz. Then we've also got... I think this is Shaz catching up with our videos because she's also commented on that re-kitting up, which was into that big storage. And she says, great videos always. Hope you and family are well. Well, Shaz, thank you. 
um from it's like i said earlier it's always nice getting other youtubers other creators saying positive things about your youtube um i haven't been doing it that long and i'm kind of take it as it comes um it's done amazing things for my confidence well as in i mean i feel like i can actually talk through the camera when i'm face to face with people i don't know i kind of clam up and i'm not open to that don't very rarely leave the house as you as many of you know um i have to feel totally in a place of safety um due to my anxiety um but yeah but it is um when you get other youtubers commenting it commenting on your videos it's 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 kind of cool what's cool when other youtubers comment on your videos mm, yeah so thanks shaz i'll read out the next one right sharon wildball go on so sorry Annalie is poorly hope she feels a lot better soon it sounds like you need to sounds like you need to rest to send Mum, help me, <laughs> my brain's not working. It sounds like you need to rest too, sending you both lots of love. Oh, thank you, Sharon. She is, like, this comment is from 10 days ago. Um, as soon as, obviously, as many of you are aware, she did end up at the hospital. Um, but once she was on proper medication, she has slowly... She's not 100%. She's still coughing like crazy um she still gets very tired so there are still some things that are gonna take a bit of time but that's fine the main concern is she's over the worst of it um she's a bit happier in herself as well which is really good and i also think that has also got to do with the fact that she's no longer going to school she is going to be homeschooled. Um, she's a very intelligent child. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, she's a very intelligent child. She has a hunger to learn. So I have no issues with her. Like, I don't have to say to her, right, sit down and do your learning. Because she's quite... She's going to be learning things she wants to learn. She's still going to be taking her exams because she needs. To, she wants to go to university. She wants to be a surgeon. Um, she still will be taking her exams. So she's got to keep up to date with that. We have um, ordered all of her textbooks so she can keep up with stuff. I also have a daughter, another daughter that is a teacher. So that's going to help out. But she, to be honest, the kind of shit she was getting at school wasn't doing her, her mental health any good. And to be honest, it was... It wasn't healthy for her to be there. Um, the day that she came out of school, yes, it was... Um, it wasn't a just a, right, we're going to homeschool you. It was a bit of a hoo-ha. Um, I just don't think the school were expecting. But, hey-ho, that's what it had to end up being because I don't think that her school, I don't think her school suitable for any child, if truth be known. But let the other parents fight for that because she's not there anymore and i am no longer wasting my energy with that school from now on my energy goes into making sure annalee's fine but yeah so yes yeah, sharon she is getting better thank you but thank you so much to all of you that sent um sent out best wishes for her when i sort of let you know that she wasn't very well you're at about an hour 
okay. It doesn't matter if it's long. I'm sure Sharon won't complain. I was about to say that. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sharon? And Lee knows that you like your long videos. Right, the next one, which was on my Heaven and Earth update, which is quite an old one. Um, Tracy Fulford says, Hi Penny, I found out from my own Heaven and Earth that 3773 is a retired colour. <coughs> the replacement for it is 470. So wherever you have 3773, just use 470. Hopefully you will have the 900 drills for it. I have both the 470 and 3773 in mind, so it's going in twice. It appears in old charts, so I imagine Heaven and Earth has kept it in for those who have the colour or prefer for us to work it out for ourselves. Hope this helps out. Well, thank you for that, Tracy. That's really informative, actually, because I had no clue whatsoever. I don't know what colours are in out, shake it all about kind of thing. Um, luckily, I have enough of those. Um, if you've watched any of my latest videos, um, lovely Gina um, sent me or, or got me all of the drills that I still needed, of which 3773 was in it. So, I heard it, I've got enough, but I will bear that in mind. I'm actually thinking about um, keeping a little note about things like that, because also there's a few colours that, from my understanding, are no longer in circulation, so to speak. But also, the fact of, with some of the Heaven and Earth designs you um they have numbers like one three thirty two which you don't get in diamond painting so what i'm thinking is actually getting a little notebook together and keeping all that information in one place because i never knew that i never knew that it was like something that's not like there were colors that are no longer in circulation so thank you, my darling. Much appreciate. Any advice is always, or information is always, always welcome. So thank you so much for that. Um, the update on Etsy video, the lovely Julie, Crochet and Cow. I love that name so much. Um, just says, take care of yourself, Nanli. Sending all my love to you both. That was because, obviously, I'd started using Etsy. So I wanted to update everybody. Um, and I am started using Etsy mainly because of over overseas shipping. Um, although Etsy's charges are absolutely ridiculous. Um... And I think at the point of me doing that video was at the point where Annalie was so unwell. I think so many people had said to me, you need to type, you're, you need to rest, you need to rest. I think people could hear how tired I was because Annalie, she was, she was sleeping like a trooper. Literally, sleeping like a trooper because when Annalie's not well, that is what she does. She sleeps. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. Right, get back in there. And you get back in there. Um, she was, but I was so scared. Oh, keep moving me canvas. Hopefully it is still all in shot. Yay. Oh, look at her face. Isn't she amazing, guys? Um. She slept, I was awake every hour checking up that she hadn't died in her sleep because that was my biggest thing. Because it was her heart, 
my thing was is oh my god so i literally didn't sleep i was sleeping for an hour checking her then i'd go back to sleep then i'd wake up again check her and i did that for like a week it was it was so scary i'm sure as many of you know when you've got a loved one that is not well especially when it's a child that panic mode sets in. I'm sure I'm not the only one that gets extremely, extremely anxious. Um, but yeah, I was, literally I didn't sleep. And so many people, so many subscribers, my friends, my family, everybody was like, you need to rest. Don't worry about videos because I then started feeling quite like I'd let people down because videos weren't going up and it's not that long since I wasn't well and then there was no videos there. It was just all a bit, it was just all a bit too much. But we're past that. We're doing good. We're doing absolutely lovely. So Julie sending all my love straight back at you, mate. She says, tell her I send my love and get well soon. I did, Julie. I did. Um, Mandy Moran, Penny, are you on Instagram? I am. But I have to say, I'm not very good with all this social media stuff. Um, I am on Instagram. When I remember, I do post pictures. But I have to say, it's far and few between. I believe I put a picture up the other day of, um, or well, last week, whenever it was. Um, just a picture of the index cards where I was making so many of them, I took a picture. And they were get, I was getting ready to, it was either getting ready to cut them up or to post them out, one of the two. One of them. But yeah, I am on Instagram. If you just look up Cab Sparkles, you will find me, my darling. Um, right, I'm trying to get through some of these to keep me going. And it looks like I'm getting there. Unboxing Happy Mail. Three days ago, the lovely Gina. And Gina, Gina's very naughty. She, she sent me some birthday gifts. Um absolutely this pen absolutely stunning absolutely go i'm in love with this pen like every time you twirl it and it looks different every time it's it's so pretty and i don't have yellow pen so i do now but yeah and so she just sent me all my roses my hearts my kangaroo and obviously we can't miss out Oscar, the koala, um, pencil surprises, great video, lots of love, sending, giving you some love back, Shaz, um, on the how to, getting ready and starting, great video, think all beginners need this. Do you know what, right? When I first started diamond painting, I didn't have a bloody clue what I was doing. And I kind of learned it all myself. Um, I wasn't really... I wasn't watching a huge amount on YouTube when I first started. Now, I've been... I started diamond painting just before, and I mean just, I mean like two weeks before Christmas last year. Anna Lee actually started diamond painting before me, believe it or not, because she got an Anne Stokes um, diamond painting from one of my friends for her birthday in October. Now, Anna Lee, if any of you don't know, Anna Lee is obsessed with dragons. Um, and the mythical, like not, not cartoony or anything like that, but she loves anything dragon. Um, although she does like 
quite a few of Randall Spangler's um, kits. She does like quite a few of them. But she's, it's not like, um, other than that, she, she, she likes like the real mythical creatures. Um, she doesn't like unicorns, but she does love dragons. So, um, I've completely lost. So, yeah, anyway, I, know, I forgot what I was talking about for a minute. Um. So we went to a craft fair in Peterborough last year, the week, I think it was either the week before or the week after her birthday. And she, they had this Anne Stokes and it was craft buddy, um, crystal art, I think they're called. And they had one on display of, the, of an Anne Stokes and she fell in love with it. Now, be it, it took her six months to do it, I would be sitting there watching her do it, and I want to do it. And that was as simple as it was. I want to do diamond painting. So, we then went to... Oh, there's a few blacks in there, look. Um, I don't even think they're blacks. Did I not empty the other one properly? Maybe not. But I'm not going to start fluffing around with it now. Um, but yeah, so that's how me and, well, that's how Annalise started. I went on to eBay and got a few cheapy ones. But I have to say, they've come out, or majority of them come out really good. Um, at that point, I was only doing rounds. I wasn't brave enough to do um, squares. Then the more and more I watched YouTube, I learned, well, actually, I do want to have a, give squares a go. Um, it was both me and my, the same friend that bought the um, Anne Stokes for Anna Lee. She then got into it as well, so we were both doing it. Um, but I just, I've got this obsessive nature, right? <laughs> Sound like I'm gonna be like a stalker or something. Right, I've got that, if I really like, if I really like something, I give it 110%. And I do get slightly obsessed. Um, so I could sit there and I would do a 30 by 40. Now, this is at the beginning, right? I'd do a 30 by 40 and it would be done in a week. Easily. Um, then I started learning what, like I said, I was watching YouTube, realized the whole, the size, the, squares and rounds and stuff like that but that is basically how I started I didn't have any beginners videos which is why I decided that I was going to do one do a little series and I did a little series there weren't lots of them it was just it's just a basic on how to, not even how to because Understand this, I'm no professional. Even though I think I'm a professional because I can use a free placer now, I'm really not. So, I um, I just show what I what I can do, you know. I don't want to go in that train, I want to go in that train. I want the big one, because there's a lot of colour blocking in this now. If you guys are still with me on this journey, on this video, then I take my hat off to you. But then I like the big videos, the long videos as well. Um, right. So thanks, Shaz. I do appreciate that comment. I really do. Right. Crystal. Now, Crystal has been with me from forever 
We love Crystal. And she's been missing. And I was actually saying to Sam, like, I hope she's all right. Because I haven't, she always used to come in. Ah, oh, we love Crystal. She has said, so glad you got the art dot drills to start your extra trash. Your ex to start your extra stash. I've missed your videos, but now that I'm all moved, I'll be able to catch up on videos and see your latest ones. You know what? I missed you. Welcome back, Crystal. Like, seriously, I've missed you. You are welcome here. Same as everybody all the time. Like, I did worry, but obviously, from the sounds of that comment, you have been moving. So I get it. We all have busy times. Um, but welcome back, my darling. Look forward to seeing you, to hearing your comments. Not seeing you, because I won't see you, but you know. You know what I mean, Chuck. But yeah, I've missed you. I've missed you, Crystal, seriously. Like I said, I did say, me and Sam, there's, there's certain names um, that you just know. And it's just the fact, I'm so glad you're back. Now that you're all moved, get back into it. You know, get back into your YouTube, your diamond painting, whatever you're doing. Because I know how it is. When I moved here, I felt like I was living in chaos forever. But hopefully you're all settled. You can crack on with your diamond painting. That is so messy up there. It's really offending me. Like, I really need to straighten that out. But, yeah, welcome back. It is absolutely lovely to hear from you. So, I'm going to give you loads of love, Crystal. Right, I think we're not far off finished. Right, on the sneak peek for Kitten Up Kitten, Betsy, hello, darling. What a wonderful sales pitch. I can't wait to snag a few of those trays when they come out. Also, the little bubbles are adorable. Oh, my God, they are. They're just so cute. Let me get my little bubble one down. Look at this cover minder, guys. Like, how cute is it? Adorable. Absolutely. Now, I don't really use cover minders. I will be because I'm going to try and do the separation on the plastic. But how cute is she? Um... But they are adorable. I bet you that means that Annalee is feeling better too. Um, take care, we'll talk soon. She is Betsy. She really is. She's doing so much better. Um, it was a very worrying time. But she's bouncing back. She's actually looking forward to going down to London for the weekend, which is amazing because all she's done for the last two weeks is sleep and that is not even an exaggeration she has been so i tell you what covid has knocked her for six again um the most worrying thing is is that it may have left lasting problems with her heart but we're gonna look on the bright side and we're gonna say no, when she goes for a checkup on the heart, when she goes to see the cardiologist, he's just going to say, no, it was just COVID. Because this is what happened last time she had problems with her heart rate. Um, but now they've, they've pushed her through as urgent now. So fingers crossed we won't be sitting here next year still waiting for that consultation. It's really bugging me. And this is why I don't like to use multi-places. See, when you step back, you can't really see it. So, thank you, Betsy. Um, I'm going to try and get all of these done. On the same video, honestly, I have the best salesperson ever. 
Thank you for sharing this and for being such an amazing support. You deserve to get the special editions. I know, Sam, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? Sam, me and Sam, I, I just think we both think we're funny. Like, literally. And when we're together, it's even crazier. Literally. If I'm at her house and Ashley's there, he don't even come in the room. He sort of, if he comes in the room, he goes in the room and then walks out the other door. I think we're a force to be reckoned with. What do you reckon, Sam? But you know what? This thing about being a, a great salesperson, it's the products. It's not me. Like, I'm just a little bit crazy sometimes. I just get excited. And that's, that's just me. But if the products were shit, excuse my language, I apologise to anybody that is offended. If, let me rephrase it, if the products were rubbish and no good, I wouldn't be as excited as I get. Like, let me, one thing about me, guys, is I'm one of them people that I can't sit there like, you know, like, if you go to someone's house and you have something to eat, right? And they say, how oh, does it taste nice? And I'll be like, yeah, it tastes lovely. I can't do that. I can't, I'm not one of these people that can pretend something's nice if I really don't like it. Because I am an honest person. One thing about me is I am, you get what you see. It, what it says on the package is me. If I don't like something, I'm going to say I don't like it. If I do like it, then I'm going to say I like it. If I like it lots, I'm going to get excited. And that's when you get all the singing and the dancing penny. Because I do. And I don't know why I'm like that, but I just am. You know, and this is why when... I, Maybe this is why I don't have a lot of friends, because if you say to me, does this look nice? If it looks horrid, I'm telling you it looks horrid. Because that that's just me. That is how I am, you know? Oh, I don't know what happened there. That is just the kind of person I am. That's how my na That's in my nature to do that. So, Sam, no need to thanks. Thank me. I am the luckiest person because I've got trays that nobody else is ever going to have. How about that? And I absolutely love them. I have to say, since I got the very first tray that I got from Sam, um, and I have the red trays, which are, as in, this tray, the red trays, they're, they were the very first ones that Sam printed. And you know what? She says, oh no, they're not good enough. To... I use them all the time. That red tray is used for my heaven and earth. The big red tray is used for my heaven and earth. It permanently holds my 820s in it. So, it's not about... It's not about me saying, oh, they're amazing because I've got them gifted to me. That's not why I say it. Now, if I tried the trays and they were crap, I would not put my name to support it. I wouldn't do it because I wouldn't want any of people that watch me, I wouldn't want them to go and spend their money on something that doesn't work. And that's, that's the simplest. So, you don't need to, I'm not the best salesman. Your trays sell themselves. And that's all I've got to say. She also says, no, nah, you're amazing. I know I am. I'm the bloody bee's knees. I'm gonna say something else then and I'll stop myself. I'm the bee's knees. I know I am. No. 
I'm all right. I say, uh, like, a lot of what I say is bravado um, when I say things like, I'm the bee's knees. Um, I love diamond painting. It is a pa my passion. Um, as many of you know, I don't go out very often. So, for me to have something that I really enjoy doing means the world to me. Um, I am loving my YouTube family. I'm loving the way my subscribers um, are so supportive. Um, I don't hide anything. You all know, um, there are obviously there are some parts of my aspects of my life that I don't share with you guys. Um, but to be fair, there ain't much that, is that exciting going on in my life. So, um, but there are some things that should remain private as far as I'm concerned. Um, you guys don't need to know the ins and outs. You just need to know that you just need to come on here, have a bit of a bit of a laugh, watch a bit of diamond painting, watch me make a fool of myself. And that's all you really need. I don't want to be coming on here and being depressed. I know there are times when I've been worried about Anne in school and stuff, but I try to keep that at home. Right, I'm getting close to all my comments, guys. So do we... Oh, I've only got two left. Melissa Lewis Wiley. Hi, Melissa. I don't recognise your, your name. So thank you. Um... Oh, I love the pea, and this was the unboxing of my pea magnet, which is actually on my. It's here, look. Is it? That, oh, that's from Kitten Up Kitten. Available on her Etsy shop. Um, I need a. I love the pea. I need an M plus my trays. Can't wait for December the first. Marked it on my calendar. December needs to hurry up and come. Lol. You know what, Melissa? You are going to love the trays. Like, everybody that is saying, oh my God, I want the trays, want the trays. You're all looking at them. So you know that they look amazing. Wait till you use them. Just wait till you actually use them. Now, what I like, number one, my drills are lining up perfectly. I've got to tell you, this is the first time I've tried multi-placing so many times, guys. Um, and I've got to say, this is the first time I've actually managed to do it. Now, is that because they're lined up very nicely? Um, when I've tried it before, I've sort of managed to pick up drills and there's been like gaps in them or they haven't got... They don't still now don't go in perfectly straight. But before I was, I'd, I'd put down, like now you see I'm putting three down. And then I'd spend five minutes straightening them three up. Then do another three. And, and I just thought, you know what? It's quicker for me to just single place. And that is why I didn't persevere. When I was actually learn, trying to do the multi-placer before, I didn't persevere because of that exact reason. Because I just thought the way that it's going and I'm having to put three down and then literally move three. But I don't, I don't know whether it's the tray, but they do line up beautiful. There's enough wiggle room on these trays, the lines here are the grooves or whatever you want to call them are deep enough to get a nice finish. If that, if you get what I mean to, to be able to sort of wiggle about and get them because if you get it straight in your straightener, then you've got more chance of getting it. Now that went completely skew if, if you get them straight in the straightener, then they go down straighter. Now, I'm no expert, right? 
I think like I'm talking like I'm a professional. I've been multi-placing for like two minutes. Literally. So I don't know why I'm giving advice on it. But seriously, everybody that buys these trays, you are not going to be disappointed. Seriously. And if you are, just send them to me. I've got plenty of space for more trays. Now, I am lucky, I'm extremely lucky that I've, she's, that Sam has been happy and content to give me the sneak peek. Um, like, that itself is an honour. So, Sam, thank you, my darling. Um, the, and there's so many people out there that have said to me, that have said to Sam on the lives, oh my God, hurry up with the trays. Well, guess what? I've got some, no, 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 no. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, was it? No. I'm lucky as in, I've tried them out for you guys. That's the way I see it. I'm the one, I've been the product tester. Like you've got. Sam is the one that does all the designing and says what's what she wants, basically. Then you've got her husband, Ashley, who is lovely. Like, I know that she takes the mick out of him, but he is lovely. Um, you've got Ashley, who does... He's like the factory foreman, because um, he does all the work with the 3D printer. You've got the lovely cat, her daughter who has done a lot of the programming to be able to have the KUK on the top. And then you've got little old me, the product tester. So I think I've got the best job, literally. Now, it was very hard because as you all aware, I do get excited. I do get overexcited and I had to keep it a secret but I did it I um I knew about the trays before the trays existed and like I said I am absolutely honored that Sam chose it with me we had many of a discussion about these um, and it's not nothing to do with me it's literally, I'm just testing them. It is literally nothing to do with me. I've not had anything to do with the making of them, the designing of them, anything. But I do feel a little bit part of the team. <laughs> I've tested them all. Well, not tested all of them, but I, I have three sets. I have the white, the red, and now I have the grey. So, and I tell you what, as much as Sam is not happy with the red ones, I absolutely love the red ones. Um, I love the colour. I love that it's translucent. And I'll tell you what I love. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Or it kind of... Can you see there, like, there's almost like a hexagon honeycomb pattern to it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm the only one that has those because she's not making them. She's not doing them there like that anymore. She's also, if you notice the difference, this one has got the key, the KUK embossed, and this one is raised up. She's not doing that anymore. So when she's famous. I can sell that on eBay for at least a million pounds. So I'm the lucky one. And yes, Melissa, you are going to love them. Now, Roger Evans, I don't know who you are, but you've just put some music notes and promo on my kitten up. For future heaven and earth. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to take offence to it. Um, 
but yeah but guys that is all my comments so we did whiz through some didn't we some of them i've already answered before so which won't be on this part of my comments but i have answered some already so for all of you that have received a love heart when this video goes up, you will hear that I've read your comment out. But like I said, there are some... Like I, I do check comments. I see the comments. And there are um, some comments that are asking me for information. Or I feel needs... Um, can't wait. Especially lately where it's been a while before, since I've done a comment whip so to speak so i have answered a few but i'm not like i'm not famous i don't get millions of comments but i think what i'm going to do is now that i've answered all the video all the comments i'm going to finish up i'm going to finish this background off camera because I am desperate for the ladies' room. I'm of an age where I can't hold it for too long, you know. Um, I'm going to visit the ladies' room, stretch my legs, finish this blocking because it's really not that exciting, guys. Watching me do all one colour. But I've got to say, I am absolutely loving this canvas. I have not been disappointed with any of um, Diamond Art Club canvases, I've got to say. I've been extremely happy with all of them. Um, I have got a few more coming. I've got an order that I... And it may well be here by the time you guys see this video. But I do have um, an order from Diamond Art Club coming. That is from my, my voucher that I got for my birthday that I used. I've also got two um, diamond paintings coming from a D-Stash group. And I may very well be really naughty on Saturday, which will be yesterday to, when you guys see this because i absolutely love one of the new canvases that is going out it is coming out called cats apps well, you guys know like seriously i must have 99 percent of my um of my canvases have cats in them so you guys know that I love cats and I absolutely, I saw that one today. I actually phoned up Sam. I'm like, Sam, have you seen it? Oh my God, I have to have it. So I may get it. It all depends on the price and whether they are going to be doing any specials, like special offers, because they seem to, over last week, in the run up to... Black Friday, they seem to be doing a special discount when new releases are, are out. Well, they did last week, so I'm hoping they do again. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. I can bag a bargain and get that. See, the, the concern is, is that, like Afghan Cat, I can't get that now because it was a limited edition. You don't know until they're actually released whether they're going to be limited. Um, I actually think that it's going to sell out really quickly. So that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. And hopefully it's not too pricey. It's got 72 bloody colours. 
It's got glow in the darks. Never worked with glow in the darks before. But yeah, if you haven't seen them, pop over to Instagram, Diamond Art Club. And they've, they've got a few of the new releases. And to be honest, there's another one that I really like, but not as much as the Cats one. And I really... It depends on the prices of them all. Because I only ever ship, I only ever buy when I've got a discount. Um, but also, I do have points. I have points, guys. So, it could mean, it could very well mean that I can afford to get it. But we will see. But for now, I am going to love you and leave you because otherwise I'm going to have a puddle on the floor. Um, and nobody wants that, at least for me, because I'll be the one that has to clean it up. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching it. If you made it this far, thank you. You know, every watch hour counts towards building the channel. Um, nobody has to sit and watch it all in one go. See, I personally love my long videos. I'm not going to veer off now on another subject. I really am going to go because I'm going to get a bellyache if I don't go wee-wees. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for all your support. Hopefully you're loving this gorgeous lady, the cat warrior. As much as I do. I'm already up out of my chair ready to run to the loo. Um, but thanks ever so much for watching guys. Keep checking out my channel. Look at my other videos. If there's anything else. If there's things that you can't see that you would like to see. Let me know. But for now guys. Sending lots of love. And I wish you farewell.